Welcome back to Grizz Vision here on Grizz TV. My name is Neil Rule here with head coach Greg Campy and coach. This is your spot. We're live, recording live in Portillo's. That's how you know Greg Campy's in Chicago because he's in Portillo's. I walked in and they asked me where I've been. <laughs> this Actually, is your favorite spot here in Chicago, isn't it? Yeah, you can't you can't come to a Chicago area. There's 25 of them in the Chicago area, so you can, no matter where you're at, you can find one. But, <clears throat> my uh, eating suggestion would be the big beef dipped. And then I would get a Chicago-style hot dog. Uh, I don't like relish on it, but, you know, just because you're in Chicago, so you need that. But the big beef dip, you can't beat that, man. It is it is out of this world. I certainly did subscribe to the Greg Campy dining plan here today. And you I, had I the walk, big beef? I walked away a satisfied customer with a hot dog chaser, no question about it. But, Coach, <laughs> uh, you are in town for business, though. So, and speaking of business, it picks up tomorrow with your win over Valpo last night the game against UIC tomorrow, the stakes only go higher from here. Yeah, it's a big game. I mean, you know, at, at every game you play as you get closer to March, um, there seems to be a little more meaning to it. We did something really special last night. We played the way we're capable of playing. Uh, we guarded as, as well, probably as good as you can guard them in their building. Um, Sharon had just an unbelievable game defensively. Martez had an unbelievable game offensively. Stevie was really good. Um, and then you, you take all that and you add all our pieces to it and everybody played hard and they played well and you know we heard afterwards I think it was I don't know who somebody from Valpo talked about they got out tough and when, they, when you're a coach you like hearing that from the opponent so that was something I like to hear I, I felt really good about the game but one game we won it it's over. Now we got to move on to the next. Then this game Sunday is every bit as important as what happened last night. What's this UIC team going to bring to the table? Young, athletic. Uh, you know they lost their their outstanding preseason first team all league player to a knee injury. He's done for the year, and they've gone I think five and two since. So you know everybody thought they were going to crumble and go away, and they're not. Uh, Steve's doing a great job building that something that program into something. He's got tremendous athletes. He's got length. Um, they're shooting the ball extremely well from the three, which since I've been in the league, UIC's never done. Um, so they're a challenge. They beat Nepal at Nepal. It's a, you know, it's a Big East team. So you, you, you've got to understand that they're capable and we've got to be ready to play. They certainly will be a challenge on the court. Was that Italian beef sandwich and hot dog a challenge for you? Um, you know, the, when you look forward to something, like, I was really looking forward to the game last night, and that went really well. And I was really looking forward to coming to Portillo's, and, and that went really well too, Neil. So you should, you know, skip us, span the place, let them see it. You know? That's where all the magic happens, everybody. Well, you just, you just walk in, and you get a bag, and they write on the bag, you know, big beef dipped. They even put coach on there. How about that? Um, you can't right. beat this place, man. All right, Coach, 5 p.m. tomorrow against UIC on ASN as well as on Radio 1130 MWDFN, the fan. Thanks for the time, Coach.